Good morning, friends. It's Kate from Venison for Dinner up here in Northern British Columbia, Canada. I want to do some organizing today, which means I need to do some food prep first because if I don't get some food made, by the time you get a bunch of cleaning and organizing done, the last thing you want to do is make food. So there's a few things that need to be used up in our fridge and I decided to make them into different meals. So we're starting with some ice cream because I have cream skimmed in the fridge that needs to be used, which is not normally a problem. I mean, we just make ice cream. So my recipe is on medicineforddinner.com. There's a few different ice cream recipes. We're making vanilla today and I'm adding egg yolks. Cookie sitting at the table. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad Marius was able to fix this drawer, except for Amos has already broken it again. Hey, and here's my reminder for you. If you enjoy watching our channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and I hope to see you again here, friends. Okay. Mom, how about save a time of ice cream? Next up, I have some chicken that I cooked in barbecue sauce, chicken thighs, and I think it would make a really good mac and cheese. So I got some penne noodles and we're gonna make a nice sauce that of course starts with homemade butter. I'm not making it on the wood cook stove today and that's not because it's not running, but that's because my husband is boiling traps for trapping. This is a whole thing he does whenever he has new traps. So he's taken up all the prime real estate on the hot side of the cook stove and I'm at the propane stove today. While the white sauce is slowly doing its thing and water's boiling, I'm gonna start making these pancakes. I will link the recipe for you in the description. They are delicious. You wouldn't know they have such oddball ingredients and they are high protein because they have so many eggs and cottage cheese in them. And if you use gluten-free oats, they are also naturally gluten-free. I'm using the mac and cheese recipe off of my blog, although I unintentionally made enough sauce for two pounds of noodles, but I only had one pound of penne, and I didn't feel like using two different shapes of noodles. I just wasn't in the mood for that. <laughs> so I have some cheese sauce in the fridge left over. I use freeze-dried squash. Adds a nice color, also adds a good bit of nutrients. This is probably equivalent to adding at least a cup of the squash, like squash meat. But back to... The pancakes. This recipe does not call for making it the day before, but I think if you make it the day before and put it in the fridge, it thickens up nicely and it makes fluffier pancakes. And it's also a great place to like put a couple sad bananas that nobody wants to eat, but you don't quite have enough to make a batch of banana bread. Throw them in this batter and hide them in there. It also would be good with applesauce or squash, all sorts of good things. The water is ready for us, so let's get these noodles cooking. This is going to be dinner. So the plan is I'm going to dice up the leftover chicken thighs to add them in. I'm going to use up odds and ends of cheeses from our cheese fridge. And I'm going to just put it aside to bake in the cook stove oven later. Pancake batter is combined, and I just put the whole blender in the fridge for tomorrow morning. Now, our ice cream. Yay, it looks 
almost done, so delicious. And our white sauce also looks great. Our pasta is done. Things are coming together here, friends. We're almost done. The ice cream is done now. And I have some taste testers who can't wait to try it. On to the cheese. I had this block of Parmesan that I used first and then I also used a red pepper Gouda. I used an Alpine, which is kind of like an Asiago. I think I used four different cheeses. And I think that's the most delicious way to make mac and cheese is just a bunch of cheeses. I also added dried kale in there and this is gonna just get tucked aside and dinner time will be so easy, friends. So the older kids came home and we did lunch and then they headed out trapping. And I have some decluttering projects that I need to work on that are deep neglect deeply neglected. And these things need to be dealt with in winter because in summer the last thing we want to do is organize a cupboard when we could be at the river or something. So let's work on some cupboards. Okay friends, today we are making ourselves a clabber culture. And this is really simple. All you need is a jar. We're gonna use a small jar because the first bit, like almost the first week, is basically getting dumped. So, or it can be used for baking, but you can easily end up with way too much. But, so we're gonna use a small jar and some raw milk. First up is this bad boy. I feel like a lot of the cleaning and organizing I do is simply putting things back where they belong. Like why is there two open bags of cinnamon and why are they both here when there is a jar of cinnamon in the spice drawer right above? It's because after I filled it up I was lazy and I didn't go put it back in the bucket where it goes. So I'm doing a lot of sorting into piles of where things need to go and I'm getting this all cleaned out because I want to wipe down as it looks like some sugar and salt spilled. So, we're gonna start by putting our base things back in here. Part of me wants to go refill all these jars, but I don't need to create more work for today. We're just gonna put these away as they are, and when I need to refill them, I will go to the basement and refill them. Today's about organizing. done this cupboard and I was also able to put some things that had been on a shelf hidden away in this cupboard but this is only half the battle we still have to put away the things that don't belong in here
This cupboard needs a fair amount of help, so let's get on it. And one of the things I'm starting with is boiling a couple cleaning cloths because I want to wash windows tomorrow and I noticed some buildup on these. And if you've never boiled like a window washing cloth, friends, you need to. Careful. Me and Mr. Milk and so we would get some more milk with that milk. Yeah. Remember these cloths were clean, friends, but when boiled, this is the water that came out of them. Yikes. Good news for my windows tomorrow though. I've had this recipe on the inside of this cupboard since I used it with Rowan in 2019 and I can't wait to use it for raw milk formula with another baby. So I hinted in the last video and I haven't hidden it in this video. Come June, we are going to have another little baby in this house and we're pretty excited. <laughs> I decided today is just organizing these cupboards and tomorrow, um, gotta love that pale winter skin, friends. It's February. <laughs> um, tomorrow when I have big kids, I'm gonna get them to help me refill. There's a bunch of different like vinegars and soy sauce and tea and spices and beans and I'm gonna get them to help me with the running up and down stairs and getting those all refilled tomorrow and that'll feel good. So today just getting organized and not biting off more than I can chew because hi my name is Kate and I like to bite off more than I can chew but I know my limits and my hips say today I'm not going up and down the stairs a bunch to refill things. Rowan has decided she's organizing a cupboard now. She wanted to find the bottle that went with the sippy cup. He make some hot chocolate and this frame it. Oh, I bet you he would like that when he wakes up from his nap. I think the baby in your tummy would like it. Mm, maybe. Because babies do like bottles. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could use it. Are you a baby? <laughs> I could use this on bedtime. No. And I like to put my sourdough starter here when I'm trying to slow it down because it's almost like putting it in the fridge and it just really slows it down when you're not going to be using it right away. To be honest, I'm surprised it's not dirtier. The last thing on my list is this space and this cupboard doesn't need a lot of help just a bit of help like these two shelves are fine but this one friends this one no
when I'm organizing things in a drawer, I like to look through the containers and such we already have. Maybe there's one that doesn't have a lid. It can become a drawer organizer. Maybe it's a container I just don't like. So I use it as a drawer organizer. We're gonna use this tin, which is super fun. That a cousin got at a thrift store, a cousin who doesn't have the last name Shad. Got it at a thrift store. Shot means sweetheart. So this person's calling from a telephone booth going, sweetheart. Anyhow, we're gonna shove a bunch of tea bags in it. This cupboard is done. Yes, hooray. Um, we primarily drink loose leaf tea. I'm not quite sure how we ended up with so many different boxes of tea bags, but when we host events at a community hall, we always bring tea bags, not loose leaf tea. And I think that's how the stash kind of started growing. But I found a favorite one. So I'm going to enjoy this one because there was only one of it before someone else snags it. We're going to call it quits, friends. I'm so happy with the progress I made this afternoon. Um, grocery store needs organizing. This is what we call our pantry in our basement, as well as refilling those jars tomorrow. And then I'm hoping to get to a few drawers. These drawers could use some help. We'll see where I get. I'm also kind of hoping to have coffee with a friend tomorrow, like all of us have friend, play date, coffee with a friend. So, we're gonna clean, but if friend texts and says, yes, let's do coffee, we're doing coffee with friend over organizing drawers. <laughs>